this divisive uh, talk, it, it has no place, and, and it has no place in Illinois. Darren Bailey speaking out after having his life threatened less than two weeks before Election Day. The Republican receiving a death threat phoned into his downstate office. Elizabeth Matthews has the latest on the suspect. Darren Bailey told us that he blames the political rhetoric from Governor Pritzker that helped create this type of hatred. You, you can threaten me, that's one thing, but when you bring my wife and my family and school children in our area into it, and, and uh, this, it, was, it was pretty vulgar. 21-year-old Scott Lennox is in jail, facing felony charges after prosecutors say he became agitated inside a Chicago bar over political TV ads last Friday. He then called Darren Bailey's Springfield office, leaving a death threat voicemail. Prosecutors say it included these statements. I'm going to skin Darren Bailey alive. If he doesn't kill himself, I will. I know where he lives. I know where he sleeps. I know where his kids sleep. The officer that called stated that in eight years of doing this, he had never heard anything uh, this concerning. Police found Lennox and arrested him Sunday night at his Lakeview East condo. He admitted to police he made the call and showed them other messages to friends where he referred to himself as a political terrorist. The GOP hopeful says this hostility is his opponent's fault. Uh, the divisiveness that uh, J.B. Pritzker has created in our state over the last four years, uh, the hatred that exists. Governor J.B. Pritzker denouncing the situation, tweeting, quote, the violent rhetoric and division we're seeing across our country is unacceptable. Hatred in any form has no home in Illinois. Bailey also pointing to the controversial Safety Act and what will happen if this happens again. After January 1st, public officials can be threatened and uh, not, you know, not a lot could be done about it. The suspect's bond was set at $75,000 and he will be placed on electronic monitoring. The judge also ordering Lennox to not make any contact with Bailey, his family or employees. Reporting Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.